Please, ladies, quiet. We are a host of golden daffodils. Oh, can we keep the noise down? Thank you. Now, we're practically at tourist season and we've not had one proper run-through yet. It's fluttering and dancing we're doing. That's what Wordsworth said. I'm pretty sure he never said anything about flopping about and sagging. Now, on the count of three, there's a tourist with a camera and flutter. Everyone leaning towards Ull's water. Gently. Very nice. Uh, Maureen. Maureen! We work as a group, not as a single star. Lean the same way as everyone else, please. Now get ready to bob your Corollas and bob and bob. But your Corolla looks a bit tense, Jill. Shake it out. Corolla! The crowny bit! And there we go. Lovely. Well done, Jill. Now, the tourist approaches to get a close-up. Kneels down, so flutter and flutter and dance and dance. Don't let them fiddle with your periants, though. It's not nice. And relax. It's not rocket science, is it, ladies? Though Wordsworth didn't do us any favours, saying he could see 10,000 at a glance. There's only 52 of us. 53 if Eileen gets over her bull rotten. That'll have to do. Hang on, excuse me. Who let Primrose in? I'm sorry, I'm not having that. This is a daffodil-only event. The royalties from the Wordsworth estate are small enough as it is. Natural History's comedy from BBC Radio 4. To hear from more like me, go to the Radio 4 website.